Shelter refuses to let dog go. Then, Gut told woman to look at his paws. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to MNR TV and hit the bell so you never miss any upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Her mouth almost dropped to the floor. They were exhausted, having been on the road for a long time. All they wanted to do was to take the dog and go, but it appeared it wasn't going to be that easy. She couldn't fathom why a shelter would refuse to let a dog be adopted and her temper started to rise. She was not going to take no for an answer. And when the shelter finally let her come in to see him, she understood everything. Jess Williams had been waiting for this moment for a really long time. She loved dogs and she couldn't wait to have one of her own. But unfortunately, that dream had to be on hold for a few years. Jess was completing a degree at Brown University and lived in a dorm that didn't allow pets. Finally, graduation day came, and with it, a big change in her life. Luckily, she was not alone. In August, Jess and her boyfriend Jared Kutu decided to pack up and move across the country to Sacramento, California. After living in the East Coast, they wanted a change of scenery and so settled on the sunny West Coast. Plus, they'd be able to be closer to Jess's family, who lived in Los Angeles. Jess was ready for her new life, and that included a furry addition to the household, although it wouldn't come too easily. Jess hadn't given up on her dream of having a dog, so when she learned that their new apartment allowed pets, she was ecstatic. But Jared was a little less so. He also wanted a dog, but he wanted them to settle into their new place first. He suggested a compromise, asking Jess to wait until her birthday in November to adopt a dog. Jess agreed, but soon she found that the wait was harder than she had imagined. All that Jess could think about was getting a dog. She woke up and went to bed with that single thought on her mind. It was driving her crazy. Finally, she couldn't take it any longer. She went online and started looking at photos of shelter dogs. I'll just browse, she said to herself. She thought this could help her get an idea of what kind of dog she wanted. But her casual browsing didn't last long. One day, she came upon a picture that changed everything. On a website she was browsing, Jess came upon a picture of a dog named Benji. He appeared to be a mixed breed, and the website said he was picked up as a stray and had been at the shelter for 10 days. He also had a bad flea allergy that made him lose most of his fur. But what caught Jess's attention was the sorrowful look on Benji's face. I'd never seen a sadder dog and knew we couldn't leave him there, she explains. She decided she wanted to adopt him. But what about her agreement with Jared? Jess showed Jared the picture of Benji and told him they had to adopt him. She felt bad about breaking her promise, but it was clear to her that this dog needed to be taken out of the shelter. Jared hesitated, but he eventually agreed to adopt Benji. Looking at the picture, he knew he would have felt really guilty if he said no. So, they started making preparations for the adoption. But there was one big problem. The website listed the shelter's location in Los Angeles, which is almost 400 miles away from Sacramento. It seriously complicated things, but Jess was undeterred. They were both avid travelers and had made long drives before. Seeing how determined she was, Jared relented. And so, they set off on a six-hour drive to meet Benji. But there were more obstacles waiting ahead. The couple finally made it to Los Angeles and found a shelter. They walked in and told the attendant that they had seen Benji on a website and wanted to adopt him. The shelter staff stared at them awkwardly for a few seconds, hesitating to respond to their inquiry. Finally, the manager came up and asked them if they were sure they meant the right dog. Jess pulled up her phone and showed them Benji's picture. Then, the manager said something that took the couple by surprise. The manager told them that it wouldn't be a good idea for them to adopt Benji. 
He offered to show them other dogs that were also waiting to be adopted. Jess couldn't believe what she was hearing, but she stood her ground. She asked for an explanation as to why they were refusing to let her adopt him. Their reply was something that broke her heart. The shelter told Jess that Benji was too aggressive. He would snarl and snap at people as they walked by. She said they told her. The shelter also told us he wasn't friendly and refused to take us into a calm waiting area to get to know him because he wouldn't be a dog that would come over to us to be cuddly. But the shelter's warnings backfired as they only strengthened Jess's resolve. We knew that he had a high possibility of being euthanized and didn't want him to die, explains Jess. There was no way that she and Jared were going to let that happen, so they made up their mind to adopt Benji. The shelter had no choice but to accept their request, so they filled out the paperwork and the couple signed. Benji was now officially part of their family, but the adventure was just starting. It was a rough six hours back to Sacramento with Benji in the car. Understandably, he was wary of these two humans he'd never met before who had come and taken him from the shelter. He also seemed quite confused about what was happening given that he probably wasn't used to long car rides. And when the family finally got home, things didn't get any easier. Benji kept his distance from Jess and Jared. It was clear that this poor little pooch had been hurt by humans before and he didn't trust them anymore. But the couple knew this and they were patient with him, giving him space and trying to show him that they loved him and weren't going to hurt him. A few days passed and he started to realize he was safe. And then something incredible happened. Three weeks after bringing him home, Benji was a completely different dog. He loves to come up and lick our faces and play with his toys, says Jess. He's such a goofball now. He has crazy zoomies after he gets bathed. He'll also start barking the second we get in the car as if to say, we have to start moving, let's go. He loves tagging along wherever Jess and Jared go, but he's also happy cuddling with them at home. They had faith in Benji from the moment they saw him and it looks like he was proving them right.